Hey OJ here. It's cooking time. So today we're going to make OJ's pizza crust. So this is their third try at it because of technology. It hasn't worked. The last two videos have my lips are out of sync so I'm not talking quite, quite the way I should. So in the video that you're about to, to watch you may see me in this shirt or a blue shirt and Forgive my lips from not moving and not saying anything or saying something and then my lips are still moving. Anyways, hope you enjoy. Sorry again. Okay, I've got my handy dandy assistant here and also my camera girl. And I have my recipe, but she's here because she's usually the one that makes the crust. So if I mess up, she'll straighten me out. So, I have two and a quarter cups of flour here, but we're going to start out with two. There's two. And then we're going to put one of these called pizza yeast great stuff anyways dump the whole package in there okay now we're going to put uh, three quarters of a teaspoon of sugar uh, it's probably three quarters pretty close Whoops, I made a boo boo already. She's already correcting me. One and a half teaspoons of sugar. So I already put three quarters in. So there's another three quarters. Now three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. No. There we go. And that's it for dry stuff. So now we're going to put three tablespoons of oil in our water, in our warm water, and we will uh, put the recipe in the description so you guys can just copy it off of there. There's that. So now we're going to put the oil and water in our mixture. And start mixing. So now we're, uh, I'm just going to uh, Knead it here with my hands here for four minutes, and uh, then we can uh, we'll get this all uh, ready to go. The first time we did this, it was awful, but this it seems to be a whole lot better this time. Well, there we go. That's about four minutes. I had to be taught how to knead properly. Probably still not doing it properly, but anyways, we're gonna put get a pan here. We're gonna put it on a well greased pan, and uh, we'll spread it out. I'll show you show you the rest of it. Okay, now that we're gonna grab the famous OJ's pizza pan. We've kind of got her flattened out here. We could do the flip thing, but that's not me. There we go. That should be just beautiful. Just a piece of Italian art. Anyways, we're going to start and put it in the oven for two minutes. And then we're going to take it out, flip it over, and put it in for another two minutes. 
There we go. By doing it like this, it uh, it makes the OJ's pizza crust the way it should be. So the last time we did this, it didn't turn out. We used too much flour, and uh, it was a little stiff and hard to move around. This is perfect. This one. So now we're going to put it in for another two minutes and we're ready to go. There we go. There's two minutes. Well, we went three minutes on the on the first side and this side we went uh, almost two minutes for this side. But we use these pans here. They're uh, uh, Spence Pizza has had them and we bought bought a bunch of them. It, uh, with this crust, it doesn't make it uh, hard or soggy and uh, it just works out really good. So this is a, a better look, I'm a little better lighting over here. It's, it's not bad for thickness. Um, we could have maybe made a thin, really thin crust large pizza out of this. But uh, I like a little bit thicker crust, and uh, it uh, it turned out really good this one. So uh, give this a try. Let me know how it turns out. And for those that asked how to make crust, here you go. Bye for now.